All right. Today we're doing matrix transpose, and with any matrix, we can find the transpose of a matrix by writing its rows as its columns. So with this matrix, this is a three by two. This is a three by two. And I know that because it has three rows and it has two columns. So we're gonna take this matrix and we're gonna find its transpose. Now, whenever you wanna find the transpose of a matrix, you have to write a capital T as an exponent. So I put that capital T up there and that just stands for transpose. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take its three rows and I'm gonna write them as three columns. So the first row is one, two. I'm gonna write that as the first column, one, two. The next row is gonna be three, four. I'm gonna write that as the second column, three, four. And then the third row, the last row, I'm gonna write it as the third column five, six, and then I put down my closed brackets to indicate that it is a matrix. So now this transpose, it has a completely different set of dimensions that the old one has. While the old one was a three by two, this one is gonna be a two by three. And that's because it has two rows, two rows, but it has three columns. So the dimensions of the transpose is gonna be the opposite of the dimensions of the original matrix. And like I said before, when you're doing a transpose, all you're doing is you're writing the rows as the columns or vice versa. You could write the columns as the rows as well. So that is matrix transpose and I hope that helps.